Hello. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video analysis. Today, we'll be looking at a young singer from Kazakhstan and his name is Dimash. Now, I first discovered Dimash from a Chinese singing competition called Singer and he made it to the finals and he finished as runner-up. So this is his rendition of that famous French song by Daniel Balavoine and it's a song that's essentially about freedom. I'm really excited to share this analysis with you. He's one of those singers that I've always respected and his vocal abilities are out of this world. So let's get to it. Now I really like the way that he started that verse. He's using thin folds, it sounds very breathy. He's accessing the softer, lighter, more gentle parts of his voice. It really sets the mood of the song. It sounds quite ethereal, it sounds spiritual. <laughs> So the larynx is sitting in a lower than mid position. Je is making it a really sad sound. And so from that thyroid tilt, he backs off just a little bit more. Je, je and the next part, he's using his mixed voice. So Dimash is singing in this pitch, and then he changes. It's almost like a Mickey Mouse kind of voice. I really love that note that he held. It's soft, it's high. He's really holding back on that note. It sounds restrained and there's a sense of heartbreak in his voice. <laughs> Dimash has a signature sound. He knows what kind of music he loves to sing and that's operatic pop. Bring that classic opera sound into more contemporary music. And right there, such a beautiful note that he made. <laughs> I love that little slide up into the opera note and he really held it and he added vibrato into it too. I'm hearing a speech-like quality. Hey, how are you today? Je te joue. And I'm also hearing an aspirate offset, which is a fancy word for releasing the breath at the end of that phrase. La vie avec. What a voice, what a voice. He is slaying this performance. Oh my god. So if you look carefully on his face, you can see that that note for him, it's so easy. 
It's effortless. There's no tension around his jaw. He's not making any ugly faces like me when I sing. Look at the way he's standing to hit that note. He's not being flimsy or floppy. Oh, well, it's all so dramatic i love it it's the performance so after that really high twangy note he drops down to a really dark place in his voice and then he travels back up the scale and then he does a few vocal flips and what he does next is what a lot of great singers do he does vocal swells I really like the way that Dimash inhaled just the right amount of breath. His vibrato there is affected by the way he's breathing and it adds that sense of emotional exhaustion and desperation. You can see the way he's standing, he's sort of leaning over a bit. A lot of singers love to lean over when they hit those notes because what's happening is that they're just releasing all that tension and tightness in the belly. They're basically letting it go. So when they're doing that, they're allowing their larynx to move to the right position to hit the right pitch. So Dimash is just one of those singers who are gifted with a facility to access those higher notes. You know, you can train as a singer to go high and high and high, but then there's a limit to your voice. And it's not because you can't learn it, it's just because of your physiological makeup. He started off the song with this kind of voice, and he's ending it in that same voice quality. That was a vocal masterpiece. He deserves all the fame because he's put in a lot of work on his voice, his stage presence. I'm happy he's sharing his gift to all of us. Okay, that's it for this voice analysis. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you learned something new today. Maybe there's a voice technique or a voice quality that you might want to explore during your practice as well. Whatever it is, I hope I offered something of value. Please subscribe, click the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.